everyone. I welcome you all to Simply Code. From the last few sessions, we are continuing with the CSS videos. And this time, we have a new topic for you. In this video, we will discuss what is CSS keyframes. In CSS, keyframes are used for animations. They give you more control over the animations and you can manipulate your animations using keyframes in your own desired way. So in this video, we will discuss all there is to learn about CSS keyframes and we will work on an example to get you a clear idea on how you can use the keyframes. But before we begin, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so, so that you never miss an update. We are coming with contents on various technologies every day. So with this, let's move forward. In this video, we will discuss what are keyframes and how you can use them to add animations to your page. We are going to discuss what are keyframes and we will try to understand the syntax of the keyframes. So let's get started. The keyframes are used to specify the animation code in the page. They are used to change the animation from one pattern to another. Keep in mind that the keyframes do not have any selectors on them. They are not nested inside anything. They are on the root of the CSS page. You write at the rate keyframes and the name. You can name it anything you want. We are going to use that name later on to call the selector. In this case, we are looking at from and to. From implies the initial state and to the ending state. Here in this example, the element will start from 0 pixel and will go all the way to 100 pixel. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to jump to the keyframes and work out some examples to understand the working of the keyframes better. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. So we are on the Sublime Text Editor and this is a simple setup. We have created one HTML element named box and we have a CSS body of padding 50 pixel and the box element has an inline block. Background red with height and width 200 pixel. And also I have an animation stride declared on the box. Currently it's doing nothing because it is calling keyframes called myframes. But we have not yet created any keyframe. We will discuss what these animation line means at later stage but right now I need those lines to be able to explain you to the functioning of the keyframes. You can see we have a box on our page with the color red and padding 50 pixels around it. We are going to write add the keyframes and I am going to use the name myframes. Then we will write from condition to have the starting state and let's just keep the height 200 pixel. And then we want it to grow and we will set it to increase till 500 pixels. So let's just create our keyframes. This is a from condition. We will set it to 200 pixels. And we want it to grow till 500 pixels. Just save the file. Now, as you can see, our box is growing all the way to 500 pixel. And when the animation is done, it resets back to 200 pixel and starts again because the animation is looping. You can also put multiple style declaration. For example, I am going to write background pink in the two condition. Just save the file. You can see that the animation is starting at red and ending at pink. Now instead of saying from and to, you can also say from 0% to 100%. This is as same as doing from and to. But what it enables you to do is you can add something in the middle of here, say 30% and we will make the color any different. So in the place of from, we will write 0% and we will replace 2 with 100%. Let's just add one more condition in between, say 40%. So at 40% we want the color to change to say something uh, green. Let's save the file and see how it looks on the page. So as you can see it starts with red, it turns to green in the middle and then all the way converts to pink. As you can see there are lots of interesting things you can do with the keyframes. All of the things that I am showing you today are just like how this works. To really get a great understanding of how it works, you just have to open your editor and start experimenting on it. Okay, 
So now let's go back to our code and learn about the animation property. So here we have the animation name my frames. The animation name should be as same as keyframes name to work it properly. The animation duration specifies for how long we want our animation to last. In this case, 2 seconds. Let's just change this to say 10 seconds. Just save the file. Now, as you can see, the animation is going at a slower speed just to cover the 10 seconds of that. Let's just reset it to 2 seconds. The timing function is used to mention the transition. There are some keywords such as ease in, linear, ease in out and some more. The animation delay is interesting to understand. It means how long we are going to wait once the animation is triggered before the visual starts happening. Let's change it to 3 seconds. As you can see the animation starts after the 3 seconds. Iteration count specifies how many times the animation should happen. Here we have set it to infinite. Which means animation will keep on going. Let's change it to something say 5. As you can see, after the count of 5, the animation stops. We'll set it back to infinite. Animation running state can be paused or the running state. I hope this video was useful for you and you learned all about there is to learn in keyframes. If yes, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button so that you never miss an update. Thank you again and happy learning.